dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when dad and uncle Aaron were little. I think it's back there. Pretty sure it's behind me. Maybe something mechanical? too far away. Hmm. There's a subway line near here. thing about Hanukkah? My mom... I need to wait for the train to come by. Get close enough to record it. Why do you keep... Yeah, that's it. You probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. Your dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help you. Yeah, sounds like that. Gotta break in here. Maybe a job for that Spider-Man fella. Something's weakening emergency responder communications. Should check it out. Go, Spider-Man. Something's weakening our emergency comms. We can't get through the fire department. Is anyone still inside? No, we got everyone out. But this fire's gonna jump if we don't get help. Hear that? Just noise now. I think I can find the source. Don't worry, I'm gonna get your comms back up. The sooner I get to the source, the sooner the fire trucks get here. My webs can't handle a fire this big. Whatever's weakening the signal is just ahead.
Fire's burning real good, and all I'm hearing is static. Guess powering down the tower worked. Insurance only pays out if the whole building goes down. So make sure the static stays till then. They're weakening comms for an insurance scam? I gotta stop them. Payday is gonna be sweet on this one. You know it. Just gotta wait a little while longer. He's on the corner, I guess. Anyone else hear something? What was that? Hmm. Oh! Sorry, guys. You really should have gone for the Spider-Man insurance. charge up that generator. Hey, Mr. EMT. Dudes are trying to burn down that building for an insurance scam. That's why they're messing with your comms. Are you serious? They're putting people in danger. Yeah. How's the fire looking? It's getting real close to jumping to the building next door. And I still can't reach the fire department. Signal should be clear soon. Hang tight. I'll update you. Assuming things are my fault, huh? What's that about? I can't wait. I gotta get those comms back to normal. Kind of feel a little bad. Spider-Man! <laughs> I did not sign up for this crap! This is not Come on! You can take it! Here. Heads up! Someone back me up! Oh. 
Now to get the comms back to full power. There, I think that worked. I should check on the fire and make sure comms are back up. Hey, how's the signal now? Everything's coming through loud and clear. Got through to dispatch too. Fire truck is pulling up now. Fire department got the building extinguished just in time. I'm definitely giving your app five stars. Glad I could help. Spread the word, too. The more people use the app, the safer we'll make New York. I'm gonna make sure everybody knows about it. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Someone needs help finding their car. I can't believe they found parking in Manhattan. Can't let you go back out there. Let Krieger and the Tinkerer kill each other. Go back to being Spider-Man when the heat dies down. And what? Just hide down here? I don't get to pick and choose when I'm Spider-Man. I gotta stop Finn. No, you gotta survive. I've been trying to teach you that, but you don't listen. You want me to survive so bad? Why sell me out to Krieger? Wasn't a sellout. Yeah. I'm serious. You were never supposed to get caught. Krieger broke our deal. You want it back in the family, and that's the best you could do? I saved your life. You threw me in a cell. To protect you. Like this is protecting me? Damn it, Miles. I'm not going to lose you, too. And I'm not going to let people die just to save my skin. You underestimated me. <laughs> Damn it, no! Don't fight me on this! I don't want to, but I can't stay down here! Then I'll do what I have to! Keep you safe! His cloaking tech! I need to short it! This isn't about me at all! It's about you! You're afraid! Don't you turn this on me! When are you gonna understand that I have to fight for this city? When are you gonna understand you can't do that if you're dead? Stay away from that shield. My dad can see us now. 
You don't realize I'm the only one trying to save you. And I'm trying to save everyone else.
I know I messed up. I let you down. We're family. Family? That didn't stop you from lying to me, manipulating me, fighting me? Being family isn't enough anymore. It doesn't have to be like this. You, me, hating each other? That's how it happened between me and your dad. I don't want to repeat that. I don't either. But I can't be the person you want to turn me into. I can't turn my back when people need me. I have to be better than that. Genki, my uncle just kidnapped me. Locked me up. What? Dude, are you okay? I had to fight him. Then I said, I told him we're done. For good. I'm sorry. That's... That can't have been easy. This is what I had to do. I'm headed to the science center. Call me if things get bad in Harlem. I will. Good luck, Spider-Man. Yeah. I'm at an underground hideout. Perfect. You handle the jammer, and I'll see what I can pick up. Or you could run away other people. That's an option. Hey, so despite the dead zone, I was able to ping an IP address, and it led me to an online underground forum, and it is gold. Really? Have you found anything good? Like how they started? They were wannabe mafia. Started with assaults and robberies, then went after bigger groups so they could earn a reputation. Like, all oh, the inner demons. run at the inner demons, how things go. Not how you'd expect. When Devil's Breath hit, enough of the underground got sick that they went into hiding. And Martin Lee going to jail ended the demons. Yeah, the underground took over the demons' territory kind of by default. Not very dramatic.
Time to shut down the jammer. Let's see where it is. Demon stuff. Spoils of war, I guess. Mind if I do. Need to shut down the jammer. Hey, hideout's back on the grid. Nice. Tipping the cops off now. I can't wait to write up this underground demons conflict for my podcast series. Thanks, Spider-Man. That's my cue to leave. Try Finn. Again. This user does not accept calls from this number. Please hang up now. Seriously? So freaked out when we get a time capsule in this cave. The place still gives me the creeps. Great. Mom made this piquet hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuela's recipe, I think. Finn put it on everything. Always said, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Someone needs help finding their car. I can't believe they found parking in Manhattan. That needs help. Hey man, your car's missing? Yeah, just finished a double shift. Came out to grab my car, but it's gone. I'm back on in 12 hours, and all I want to do is get home and sleep. I can make that happen. You have your key fob on you? The beep boop unlock thing. Yeah, got it right here. Awesome. One lost car soon to be found. Okay, I can track the signal from the key fob to find the car. Stealing a medical tech's car in the dead of winter? It's cold, man. Literally and figuratively. Reeks of chop shop. The car's definitely here. Let's hurry up and strip in that car from the hospital. 
place seems to be full of lost cars. Suspect. It could be like a nurse saving the life or a family visiting the dying mother. We're stealing cars, man. Ethics left out of all the time ago. Let's hurry up with you guys. You stole an EMT's car after he worked a double shift? That is beyond uncool. Now I can use the fob to find the car. Find the horn, find the car. Just need to listen and find the source. Hey there, I found your car. Texting you the location. Incredible. Hey, cops finally showed up here. I'll see if they'll drive me to you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Gonna tell everyone to use your app. After I get some sleep. Glad I could help. All right. I think my work here is done. The app says I've got a gift waiting for me. I'll take a look before someone grabs it.
doll, this cast could get a little maudlin, so instead I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. Things are bad in Harlem. The underground rocks on, the tinkerer, it's it's all coming to a head with the neighborhood caught in the middle. City Council candidate Rio Morales is organizing a full evacuation to the Bronx. So please, if you're outside Harlem and can offer a room, a bed, a couch, anything, you could save a life. I know you're afraid. I am too. But this is our time to come together as a community. We are strong enough to survive this. Today's advice is to hold your loved ones close. Goodbye, friends, and good luck. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. I hate Pretty sure he died trying. I hate it. You did make things better, Dad. And so will I. Spider-Man! Best vacation ever! It's frozen to my holiday, Spider-Man. The last short night. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. Happy holidays! Probably something you'd always find here. Like birds or trees or... No, no, not trees. Stop snowing already. Probably something you'd always find here. Like birds or trees or... No, no, not trees. There's a lot of birds around here. Maybe? I'm leaving before you do something weird. wasn't your fault. I think it's back there. Break at the bridge. 
Uncle Max said he makes his own vodka. Probably something you'd always find here. Like birds, or trees, or... No, no, not trees. I'm not gonna find it over here. is behind me. How did Dad record this? Was he a pigeon whisperer? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped the hot dog. You know how that goes. Place was swarming with pigeons. Your dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. Next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, my dad had the ear for music. Martin Lee, the demon's leader, went to prison. Then the underground needed a new target. Enter the tinkerer who pointed them at rocks. Till next time, make sure to get at least 15 minutes of sunshine every day. Bye! Look out! Let's see. Always.
Why did Sorry, I wear heels today? On a mission. I'm hearing that a feast truck's under attack from thieves near you. Hey, Danica. I'm at another hideout. Ooh, awesome. I just reorganized my notes from a podcast series, and I am ready to dig in. Go find that jammer.
Philadelphia and an unidentified group. Obviously, three two for her underground. Run into a shootout. Underground went after the Magia? Yeah. The crime families? They wanted respect. Makes sense they try and jump ahead by gunning for the whole class. What's left is to find the jammer and shut it down. Wire runouts are a good place to start. There's a pulley over those crates. say that's a bingo wow it's 
a Magia trophy room. Poker chips. Definitely the old crime family style. Thought you could hide, huh? Guess I can head out. Crap! Hey, uh, the way out's blocked. Should I call someone, like, like backup? I'll figure it out. That old elevator could be my ticket out of here. Just need some juice. Green's a little off on these bills. Guess the Maja never nailed down their counterfeiting operation. Okay, now to wire that to the elevator. Man, I'm good. Their cunning trap has failed. Hey! Consider the jammer jammed. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna give the police an anonymous tip, and boom! No more hideouts. Appreciate the help. Did you get what you needed? Yep. I'm gonna dig some more into this turf war between the underground and the Magia. Smells like a story. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to hearing the podcast. Helps just as much. Listen, if you ever need anything, not like a rescue, but a, a break from all the fighting, text me. I know a cafe that makes great matcha lattes. <laughs> I'm picturing sitting in a cafe in the mask, and it's weird. But cool, right? <laughs> okay, bye. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. I think I saw some wind chimes. If I can get close enough. I think I saw some wind chimes. If I can get close enough. You need something? Chimes. That sounds good. 
This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. God paid me to mother the boss. Rough him up to take everything in his walk. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. You deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and dad would have stayed close. And you and I would be okay too. Summer skating here. Should come back more often. Bingo. After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. She wanted to reinvent the whole world. Hey, man. I don't think I ever told you about the time capsules me and Finn hit around the city. Anyway, I just found them all. Really threw me for a loop. Oh, were they foreshadowing your present situation? No, it just reminded me how simple we thought the world was. Ah. I was jealous of how planned out she had her life. First, she'd solve global warming, then world hunger. Next was curing cancer, and before she retired, communicate with aliens. I don't think any plan you had would have included you getting nipped by a genetically engineered spider. Yeah. Guess things are different now for the both of us. underground got going on here. Thanks for the upgrade on the ground.
Oxo lab in Chinatown. Can you access their security? You gotcha. Down there. I'm here. And I'm on their network. I can see what you see and all the wiring in the lab. Nice. Let's shut this place down. Let's see what we've got here. Say to me again. New form isn't dangerous. Nope. See? I sensed your hesitation. They think our clean energy is too good to be true. You need to prove them wrong. I promise you, new form isn't dangerous. See, you're, you're still not getting it. <laughs> the words don't matter unless I hear the belief in your voice. New form isn't dangerous. I, t I, t I tell you what. You take this recording, okay? And you're gonna practice in front of your mirror. And you're gonna do it again and again and again and again and again. And you're gonna convince me tomorrow. Genki, you ready to pop this door open once I power it up? Ready and waiting. Did that do it? Yep, and I got it unlocked. There's a new form reactor powering this place. Just gotta drain it. You should be able to find it on the ground floor. Straight ahead. You see the latest quarterly report? I don't read that stuff, and I don't know why you do. I want evidence, in case the new form, you know, makes me sick. I've read about Chernobyl, Three Mile Island. It's not that different. I wouldn't say that when I was on duty, if I were you.
get hurt. Let's check on Bravo team and see what's the problem. The problem is your nasty new form reactor. The solution is me wrecking it. We need another perimeter then. Hey man, found some heavily redacted but still legible files. Nothing we can use to expose them, right? Nope. It's a bunch of tests confirming new form gets explosive when exposed to electricity. Like my venom. Like any stray spark. I mean, it makes gasoline look like lemonade. Uh, that simile worked better in my head. I got it. Once again, new form's way more dangerous than Roxxon wants to admit. Red alert. He's not here. Probably worth looking around here. Dear Roxxon employees, as thanks for your hard work, we put together a little gift package to get ready to look cool in some killer Roxxon swag. Oh, uh, what do you guys see these sunglasses? Uh, we got tickets to our holiday gala and you've been waiting for it. Complimentary enrollment into our coaching program. Boom. Hey, maybe I'll see you in class. Remember, we're here for you. Yeah, we're here for you. Unless New Form wrecks you. That guy's the worst. Can you imagine telling yourself a year ago that we'd be taking down an evil energy company together? Honestly, no. We've gone from making batteries and chemistry to you becoming a human battery. It's wild, dude. Can't wait to see where we go from here. Hey, 
Spider-Man, since we shut down those underground hideouts, recruiting stayed down and those blocks have gotten way safe. That's awesome, Danica. Couldn't have done it without you. Hey, team effort. <laughs> so I was looking through some of my files. It looks like the Tinkerer was working on some big secret project in Hell's Kitchen. Is it new form related? No, it looks like programmable matter. I faced that stuff before. Maybe I should take it off her hands. Oh, hey, there's a code referenced here. 2658. Maybe try that if you find something, you know, hot. 2658. Got it. Two, six, five, eight, right? Programmable matter. I can make this into anything. Oh, I'm digging this. Think that'll do it. I gotta thank Danica for the tip.
down those Roxxon labs put a serious dent in their reactor production plans. That is great news! They may not be done for good yet. We just saved a ton of people. Celebratory hot dogs are on me next time I see you. <laughs> I'll take it. Thanks, man. This sound always feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too, so we had to include it. A sound that tells time. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's behind me. I'm not gonna find it over here. He said it sounded like a celebration. <laughs> Shit! Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things got complicated between them. Hey, young blood, you got almost everything you need for the trap. You just unlocked the spot where you could find the last piece. Hope it works for you. The place where I fought him? Doesn't have the best memories, Uncle Aaron. Why are we so evil, 
Super clean combat design. Folks, I've heard differing opinions from my discerning listeners about Roxxon's security force. On the one hand, this is fair. There are some of the same concerns I have about Spike. These are not law enforcement officers and do not answer to the same standards. On the other hand, Roxxon has every right to protect its property and interests. And many of the skirmishes people are concerned about started because Spider-Man broke and entered into Roxxon's places of business. Now I'm told these incidents have died down, but I ask. Stranger in a skin tight suit burst into your bedroom at night. What would you? Hello. No, no, wait. That was rhetorical. Jared, shut down the comments. You people are sick. Move it. We got places to be. Man in subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. Use the sounds. Lock? Something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the prowler. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger, 
Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. Who's was always way better at guitar than me. Sequencer? Sampler? Vintage? Oh, has to be him and Dad's equipment. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. My mom bought him this at a flea market. It was a joke about... Uh, can't remember. Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. He must have been building his network for years. Doesn't look like I'm going anywhere. Okay. 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 And away we go. That's part of one. Come on.
Pod listeners, this episode is part of my series, Underground Exposed. Spider-Man recently took down an underground hideout in Greenwich, and we found evidence that the underground went to war against the Magia. Yes, that Magia, the old school crime family. Back then, there was no tinkerer, and the underground considered themselves a new class of criminal, the young mafia, if you will. They wanted respect, so they went after the crime families. The conflict sputtered out when Hammerhead staged the full-on takeover of the Magia, which indirectly saved the underground. Thanks for that, Hammerhead, you jerk. Till next time, if you're trying to change your habits, limit yourself to one change per month so you can stick to it. Goodbye. Seeing close renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. This ran the city for years. After the plaza, we'll take it flame. from me. Suck it up. We don't have time for this. Check on Evan. I got you. Check it now.
Hey Julio, you around? Hello. Somebody get over there. Aye aye, Captain. Another one bites the dust. All right, let's see what kind of security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at gym theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks, which are locked and powered down. I need a new power source. That giant spinning mobile. Web the nodes to the mobile. Conduct electricity. Just need the webs to reach. Webs won't reach. toys. Finn? You here? 
exhibit was down that hall. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. <sighs> She's gotta be further inside. Underground cash. Up there. Finn? Come on. We need to finish this. You and me. She's got to be with our project. Down that hall. Project. Welcome. While we're still young. For tomorrow's innovation is today's reality. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, the Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. Empty homes are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. I think they need biologists more than screenwriters. I'll have you know I'm also very good at mixing out this Since the mid-20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What? You scared? Of sharks? The dark? Tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me.
Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. Thanks for bringing me. I've never been here before. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today, suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. Wish we had museums like this where I grew up. We had to drive to yeah. Right. It was nice of your dad to drop us off. We would have gotten here faster if he turned on the sirens. <laughs> Definitely would have made an entrance. Ooh, we gotta play. Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Gotcha. Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. <laughs> Come on. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. This game was made for me. Two wins does not a master make. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Up, 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 up! Go, 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 go! Oh, fast gun! <laughs> That's a win for me. No way! That did not just happen! <laughs> Third time's a charm. The museum's gonna close, and you'll still be playing that thing. Okay, okay. I'm done. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on a like whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. This Oscorp rover adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources, the Oscorp rover would make exploration possible on Mars. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> would you ever move to space? I think 
that's on the second floor. Yeah, Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. Yeah. To communicate with them, scientists use the radio oh. antennas to send... I bet the sound quality on these are dope. It's not from space. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones will work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you, breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. Think that's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I still need something reflective. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. We should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? You know you can talk to me about it. Well, I, I'm fine, but I'm sorry to run out on you again. Not at all. Work will be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Doc. Integration over the mesh. That boy's mind never stops. Oscorp Science Center. We should look around for an energy display. Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light sensitive lock. Take one. I'll put the sticker on the metal. Let's go.
I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. That worked! We did it! Come on! Our project awaits. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello? You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us, seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad, bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. Oscorp Science Station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp nuclear reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Do we get to know what it is? Nope. Roxxon's keeping it super secret. they can grow flowers in space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16, 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. We're still thinking about applying for Oscorp's engineering. Our project. You ready to go? Not yet. Are you? I'm a little tired, my feet are so Oscorp's funding the coolest research. Is that your dream job? Oscorp scientist? Nah, can't see myself at a big company. But the R&D would be cool. This engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel today. Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. I need to get that picture of you and our converter for your dad.
Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that. to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. Yankee, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Bad. 
Rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. Death was about a dozen people. We're breaking up. Who are you? Genki! If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please! Never seen a storm this bad. Genki, can you hear me? Genki. Fighting 
down there. Get him back down here! some of you. get people clear. I'll be back. I know. Okay, people! Check every door! We don't leave anyone behind! No! You don't know what you're doing! They deserve what's coming to them! No! The reactor! Krieger changed the specs. You're not just gonna destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're gonna vaporize all of Harlem! I'm not gonna let you lie to me again! You're too late. I don't want to fight. 
right. We'll talk. After I disable the reactor. Chime in and let you know so you don't work. We're gonna be just fine if this building blows. Hell, we'll be fine if all of Harlem blows. I mean, do you have any idea what kind of insurance we've got? Huh, the awesome being the victims of a terrorist attack? <laughs> Forget Roxxon Plaza. Coming soon, Roxxon City. All right, later, kids. Well, I have to stop him. Not like this.
much longer. Oh, please. Oh, oh, Miles. Oh. 
Get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? He's our Spider-Man. Those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes. You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you. Yeah, will... yeah, we know Ow! who you are. I will own you. Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka the Prowler, flipped on him and Rockstar. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. Looking good, Haley. This is where we come from, yeah, we did it. City on my back, I'm committed. This is where we come from, yeah, we made it. Now the whole team celebrating. We like, uh-oh, oh, 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 Probably thought you knew a new day is approaching. Turn the gray skies into blue. I grew up on these same nights. Nice School of hard knocks. Had to get it on a hard time. Took the hard shots, but we made it. Anticipated, highly decorated. The whole team is winning. Hey man, what's up? The victory is all mine. All right, man. All mine. And everything is all mine. All right. All right. Still can't get over that suit. So cool. Gotta be me. Yeah, you do. Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Finn. All of Harlem. But I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man oath. Go time? Go time.
They couldn't see it, man, just let the picture develop I got a, yeah, fly as a whip of propellers All of these villains are jealous Just cause I'm young and I'm careless Swing through the window, what I hate you I'm ready to go, she calling my phone, girl, I'm going over I got something to prove, I showed her the world Can't hold it no longer They think I'm way too young to stand up for the ones I love But let me tell you something Drip when I flip off the building, yeah. Vitals are good, circulatory system healthy, um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease want him could... I Kurt. Kurt. But we may be underestimating the potential danger... I said! Get him out! Now!
So I keep hearing irrational raves from hormonally unbalanced youth Jared's age. Wait, you're how old? Good heavens, man, get a real job. About this friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app. They claim this young Spider-Man can do anything. <laughs> well, I just used said app to place an order of Saganaki from my favorite Greek restaurant in Astoria, specifying I wanted it delivered fresh and in the traditional Greek manner. Set a blaze in front of me. We shall see if our boastful boy, Spider-Man, can fulfill this. Here you go, Mr. Jameson. Gotta go. Jared, call 911. Spider-Man's broken in and is killing us with fire. I'll be darned if this isn't delicious. Go to commercial, Jared. I got some feasting to do. Oh, no, you should have ordered your own. This is mine. Mine, Jared. Out.
Bye, Finn.